What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna talk about the differences between a bowling ball drilled pin up and a bowling ball drilled pin down. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you like the jersey I'm wearing in this video or in any of my videos, coolwick.com, use my promo code NAPOLIS10, that'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there's gonna be a link where you can order anything bowling related, including these Eternity Pies. It's a great way to help support the channel. All right, so let's start at the very, very, very basics of what pin up versus pin down is. How do you know if your bowling ball is drilled pin up or pin down? Well, easy way is if the pin is below the fingers, it is drilled pin down. And if the pin is above the fingers, then it is going to be a pin up bowling ball. Now, what does that actually do to ball performance? So a bowling ball that's drilled pin up is actually going to increase the differential and decrease the RG. The higher the differential, the more hook potential the bowling ball has. Then the lower the RG, the earlier the ball is going to want to start up. And, 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 how, much, and how quick it's going to respond to that friction. So if you drill your bowling ball pin up, it's going to uh, hook more or have a higher hook potential. And it's going to want to get started earlier and respond quicker to the friction. And then when you drill it pin down, it's going to be just the opposite. It's going to decrease the R, the, it's going to decrease the differential and then it's going to increase the RG. So when you drill it pin down, the hook potential of the bowling ball is going to go down and the RG is going to go up, meaning the ball is going to want to be a little bit longer before it makes its motion and it's also going to make it a little bit smoother. So pin up is going to make the ball hook more and earlier. Pin down is going to make the ball go a little bit longer and be a little bit smoother down lane. Now, all of that can change with surface anyway. So if you drill your ball pin up and it's hooking too early, you can always polish it up. Same thing with pin down. If it's a little bit too long and you need it to be a little bit earlier, add more surface. So the, the surface is always going to be the biggest thing, but today we're going to talk about just the layouts. So in front of you here, you have two 900 Global Eternity Pies, one drilled pin up, one drilled pin down. So we're going to be here on, at Samstown on lane 42 on a fresh, typical house shot. The question that I have for you guys is, do you prefer pin up drillings? Do you prefer pin down drillings? Why or why not? Or are you learning about this for the first time? Because that's kind of what I, I want. I want to educate as many people as possible. We'll see you here on the lanes. All right, first shot of the video, we're gonna start in the pin up Eternity Pie. And before I get in the pin down one, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Yeah, so the biggest thing to pay attention when looking at that shot is how much earlier it wanted to pick up and that motion down lane. When we get to the pin down one, you guys are gonna see that it's gonna be very different. So right now I'm gonna throw a couple more shots to the pin up one and then we'll get into the pin down one. All right, then the best advice I can give you guys is consult with your local pro shop operator to determine if pin up or pin down will be better for your game. All right, one more here with the pin up one, and then I'll get into that pin down one. Got that a little right. And I mean, it is an asymmetrical solid, so it's not gonna shape like a pearl, but for a solid, you can see that it wants to get there and make a little bit more motion. The next shot you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna get into the pin down Eternity Pie. All right, so this is gonna be the very first shot here with the pin down one. We're gonna go right to that same spot to start. Yeah, I mean, I hope you guys can see just how much longer and smoother that was when compared to the pin up one. And right here to my left or to your right, I'll show you guys what the pin up uh, flare lines look like. And over here to my right, your left, I'll show you what the pin down flare lines look like. So night and day, as you guys can see, with the exact same ball, same surface, just drilling one pin up versus one pin down. Let's make a couple more shots there. All right, so that was a pretty good shot. So we're gonna stay in the pin down one, same spot. Repeat another good shot. So I actually got that one in a little bit and it held, and I don't think that the pin up one would have held from that spot. 
So what I look for to determine whether I'm going to throw like the pin up uh, the Eternity Pie or the pin down one is if I'm bowling on a house shot, kind of like here at Samsung where there's a lot of friction to the right, I think I'm going to end up liking that pin down one a little bit more. It'll allow me to play a little bit straighter, more miss room, whereas that pin up one is going to be a ball that I'm going to use more when there's more volume, when I have to get in and play in that soup in the middle. That's when the pin up one's going to look really good. So we'll do one more with the pin down one. All right, let's really focus. We get this pin down one going to the right like we did with the pin up one. Like there. Now you can see, even though, I mean, I'm six for six to start, it's way smoother down lane, more round. So let's get back into the pin up one now. All right, so this is going to be the pin up one. We're going to move a zone left, a full arrow left a little bit more shape and see how they compare now. Yeah, I mean, this, this bowling ball is disgusting. So let's get into the pin down one from there. All right, so this is gonna be the pin down one from the same spot for the sake of comparison. Let's see how this looks here. See if it gets there. Yeah, I mean, it's still struck, but you can see it really, really struggled to get there. So I'm going to stay in the pin down one and move straighter, keep my angles a little bit more in front of me so you can see more or less where I would like to play with this pin down one. So if I was bowling for score, I would be at this spot here with the pin down one. I'm about 23 with my feet to start I'm trying to hit like 8, 9, 10 down lane. Yeah, like picture perfect. That's exactly where I would be with the pin down one. You can kind of see the differences there between the up one versus the down one. All right, let's move back left again with the pin up Eternity Pie. Oh, kind of fell off there. Oh, almost a stone eight. Yeah, I mean, this bowling ball is nuts. I'm on like an eight or nine bagger right now. I'm gonna go back to the pin down one again and move right and keep those angles shut down. All right, shallower angle here with the pin down one again. Again, same thing, trying to hit like eight, nine, 10 down lane. Like right there. Woo! All right, pin down one again, same spot. For me in my game, this is what I like to do. Keep it in front of me, stay aggressive. Oh, missed left by a mile. Oh, of course, my first miss is going to be on that. All right, one more shot with each of them. This is the pin down one. We're not going to miss left this time. We're going to hit our target. All right, last shot of the video. We're going to end it on the pin up one. Let's make a good shot. Wrap it up here, folks. Woo. All right, so guys, to recap this video, pin up is going to increase the hook potential of the bowling ball while making it earlier, wants to respond to the friction sooner. When you drill a pin down, it's going to decrease the hook potential and its friction response is going to be slower, so it's going to be longer and smoother when compared to the pin up one. Now guys, if you feel like you learned anything in this video, if you feel like it was educational, please consider subscribing as it helps the uh, algorithm a ton. Click right here to watch another video. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time. Ooh.